This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Magus and apologies for my voice, but you know, tonight just kind of broke me, um, in a way. <sighs> Just heard the news not too long ago that Chadwick Boseman, 43 years old, he's fucking, like, younger than me, passed after battling stage 4 cancer for the past 4 years. I don't think many of us knew that this guy was diagnosed at all. Um, shit. If we knew, it clearly, like was something that we just all washed away in our minds as he went on this spectacular four-year run where he did, you know, Civil War, Endgame, Infinity War, Black Panther. Um, you know, he had this movie, his own movie, 21 Bridges. Uh, I think that was the last film that he actually... No, uh, The Five Bloods was the last film that I actually saw him uh, in. Uh, and I'm sure he's probably had other stuff in production, probably, that I don't know about. But, like, this dude was, like, yeah, I know people were talking about how he looks skinny. And I actually saw somebody post how he did an Instagram and people were kind of making fun of it. And he kind of shut it down because he was looking skinnier than normal. Um, Jokes on them, I guess. Fucking sensitive bastards. Oh, my God. Sorry. I'm, I shouldn't say that because people, uh, this is fucking insane. Like, 2020 has got to be, like, the worst. <laughs> and I'm not just saying this just because, like, you know, a celebrity or not, but just so much has gone on this year. And this is just kind of like, Wow. Like, this guy was definitely one of the beacons of light in life. Um, he always was came off as a very, you know, kind, warm-hearted brother who, you know, tried to be a positive influence on people. Um, going back to Black Panther, like, as an African-American, I understand why so many other African-Americans felt so overwhelmed with joy and pride at seeing not only the movie itself, but the movie do so well. Like, Black Panther is one of the top five grossing films of all time, people. A movie with a predominantly black cast. Not a comedy or a gang gangster movie or any other stereotypical trope that you could come up with for what a quote-unquote black film should be like he was a black superhero a major part of the marvel universe and a major influence of so many young people when that character like got its own movie um it and like we already lost fucking you know john lewis you know, who was influential and iconic in his own right politically and, you know, with his activism and everything he did. You know, we've lost a major influence sports-wise with Kobe Bryant. Um, and just this year, like, even taking it from, you know, the African-American culture, we've seen so much pain and hurt and loss this year. Um, I don't know. This just kind of fucking broke me. Because, again, who knew that this dude was sick? Again, he was going strong in his career, as far as we were all concerned. And he kept all that within. It's like, God bless this man. How strong must he have been to carry that weight? Like, my mom died of stage four cancer. And it was like a quick flash of the press. Like nobody knew she had it. She got it. And within a month's time, if not less, of the diagnosis, my mom was gone. And 
seeing the fear and the pain that she went through and like then thinking about this guy like knowing for the last four years of his life that he was going to fucking die. Um but he soldiered on. Um it's it's overwhelming. Like God bless that man. Um, sure. um and I'm sorry. I I damn it just makes you think, like, you know, and I know you've guys heard me talk about my life and how fucked up shit is, but I don't know. This just hurts. Like, I don't even care about what's going on. Like, it's to see the, like, loss and the pain that's going on in this world. Period. It's just, it's overwhelming. Um, I can give a fuck about my own issues right now. Like, this year has just been devastating emotionally. Um, all around. And it's a shame. It's it's a damn shame. Like, man. Uh, yo, by the way, today is Jackie Robinson Day. For those who don't know, Chadwick Boseman played Jackie Robinson in the movie 42. Today is the day that if you're a baseball fan, you're celebrating Jackie Robinson breaking the barrier and becoming the first African American in the major leagues. Um, Chad Bozeman took on that role, uh, and it's like, wow, to die on that day when we're celebrating um, this too. It's just. It's too much. I know I'm all over the place, guys. I'm sorry. But I've been just, like, going through it all this year. And it's just like, you know, with everything that's going on, for some reason, this just fucking... <sighs> this just took the fucking wind out of my sail, so to speak. Um, I, gosh... This is wild. Like, too much loss, too much pain, too much suffering, too much drama. The shootings, you know, just had a shooting this week. Um, you know, the deaths from COVID. The political strife and struggle, just all types of shit. People going through it financially and emotionally. And, you know... I guess this is being the person that I am being way too empathetic. Like, it's just overwhelming me. And this, just like fucking, um, fuck. I just don't know, man. God bless that man's family, friends, loved ones. You know, um, God bless him. Thank you, Chadwick Boseman, for everything that you've done. Seriously. Uh, you left uh, one hell of a legacy, and you made an impact on the world, and we will forever be grateful for that from you. Um, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, anyway, as always, you guys, feel free to hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I'll haunt you later. This is your boy, Black Megas, and I'm out. Deuces.